Mr. Beat presents Supreme Court Briefs. Washington, D.C., 2007. A self-described conservative nonprofit corporation called Citizens United wants to release a documentary. The film, called Hillary the Movie, Hey, that's a pretty catchy title. Talks a bunch of trash about Hillary Clinton, who just so happens to be running for president. Citizens United wanted to distribute and advertise the film within a month before the Democratic primary elections in January 2008. However, this would be a violation of the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act, aka BICRA, aka the McCain-Feingold Act, the latest law that limited how political campaigns were paid for. BICRA said corporations or labor unions can't can't spend money from their general treasury to broadcast anything through the mass media that specifically brings up a candidate running for federal office within 30 days of a primary. Anticipating that the Federal Election Commission, or FEC, might try to stop the release of their documentary, Citizens United went ahead and took the FEC to the United States District Court, essentially saying, Don't even think about it, FEC. Citizens United claimed Bikra didn't apply to Hillary the movie because because the film wasn't clearly for or against a candidate. It also claimed that the Supreme Court decision FEC v. Wisconsin Right to Life justified them releasing the film within 30 days of the Democratic primaries. Not only that, but Citizens United argued that portions of Bikra straight up violated the First Amendment to the Constitution. On January 15, 2008, the three-judge U.S. District Court said, Nope, sorry, Citizens United. You can't have your injunction. You gotta let the FBC regulate. The court said the film was clearly just meant to get people to not vote for Hillary Clinton. I mean, it was called Hillary the Movie, for crying out loud. They also said the film was meant to be strategically shown right before the primaries for this purpose. And they cited the Supreme Court decision in McConnell v. FEC as justification that the FEC could prevent the showing of this film. Citizens United was like, you know what? I'm appealing to the Supreme Court. Now, as you know, this can be a long process. What ended up happening was Hillary Clinton did not get the Democratic nomination and Barack Obama ended up being elected president later that year. But that ended up being irrelevant other than the fact that Obama nominated a new justice, Sonia Sotomayor, that agreed with the justice she replaced, David Souter. Actually, that's kind of irrelevant too. Throughout 2009, the Supreme Court heard multiple arguments about the case. The court had remained very divided on the issue things got pretty philosophical. Finally, on January 21st, 2010, the court ruled 5-4 to four in favor of Citizens United, arguing that the free speech clause of the First Amendment prohibited the government from limiting money spent by corporations, labor unions, and other associations on political campaigns. Specifically, we're talking about independent political expenditures or political campaign contributions not directly affiliated with the candidate. Justice Anthony Kennedy wrote the majority opinion, quote, If the First Amendment has any force, it prohibits Congress from fining or jailing citizens or associations of citizens for simply engaging in political speech, unquote. The court's ruling basically freed corporations and unions to spend as much money as they want to elect or defeat candidates. As long as they didn't contribute directly to candidates or political parties, the majority also argued that the First Amendment protects associations of of individuals, not just individual speakers. So you can't prohibit speech based on the identity of the speaker. So corporations have free speech rights just like you or I. The idea of corporate personhood or the legal notion that corporations share some of the same legal rights and responsibilities held by individuals had pretty much been established by the Supreme Court since the 1800s. In this case, the court definitely ruled that corporations are people, man. Corporations are people. Justice John Paul Stevens led the opinion of the dissent. Stevens was pretty upset about how this one turned out. His dissent was 90 pages, and he passionately summarized it for 20 minutes from the bench. Stevens later wrote a book explaining that a constitutional amendment should be passed to make sure money doesn't influence politics, mostly due to this ruling. Today, Citizens United v. FEC continues to get people fired up. If we are going to to maintain a true democracy in this country, it is absolutely imperative 
that we overturn this disastrous five to four Supreme Court decision on Citizens United. Protesters have passionately spoke out against it, and organizations like Wolfpack were created in response to the decision. Just like Roe v. Wade, this is a Supreme Court decision that will be discussed and debated for many years to come. I'll see you for the next Supreme Court case, jury. What do you think about that Supreme Court case? Do you agree with it? Do you think that corporations are people? Well, let me know in the comments below. A shout out to Will from The Political Junkie. Check out his YouTube channel. It is amazing. I have put a video below for you to check out. He supports me on Patreon now. Ha, <sighs> pretty cool. And finally, I could use some more questions for my upcoming 10,000 subscriber video. I might reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. When I do, I will make a 10,000 subscriber video with all your questions and answers all your questions answered.